You're listening to Daily Manna Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell turned on, of course. Uh, like the video if you feel so inclined. Comment, shoot me an email, whatever you feel like doing. Um, and uh, join us here for a quick little devotion each and every morning. The title of today's devotion is Chipping Away at the Future. Chipping away at the future, scripture. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. Revelations 13, 16. Maybe you're using a smartwatch to monitor your vital signs. That's funny. I picked, I picked these um, devotions randomly, and yesterday was about uh, smart technology and uh, phones and stuff, and this one has smartwatches in it, so that's kind of funny. A little theme from God the last couple of days. Your smartwatch to monitor your vital signs. Good for you. We need to stay as healthy as possible. But what if a tiny chip the size of a speck of dust could be injected under your shin to do just that and more? Uh, It's actually possible uh, now. I've read about it. Engineers at Columbia University School of Engineering and Applied Science have created an injectable chip that can be inserted under your skin to monitor your temperature, blood pressure, glucose, and other health stats. There you go. There's another... uh, I've read about a different different company doing that, but I think there's tons of companies all over the world and universities that are working on that. Uh, and then we get into talk about the mark of the beast and whatnot. So, da da da. Technology isn't evil, and today's innovations may lengthen our life. But what happens when an oppressive government seizes that technology to control its people? Hmm. Hmm, could be going that direction nowadays, huh? During the days of the Great Tribulation, the Antichrist will use every means to control the commerce and conduct uh, and conduct of its citizens. We shouldn't be anxious about anything, but we should keep our eyes open to everything that may point toward the hastening of the return of Christ. Turning point. Citizens of the Antichrist Empire will be distinguished by the mark of the beast. Citizens of Christ's kingdom are also identified by a mark. God marks believers as his very own by sending his Holy Spirit to live in them. David Jeremiah. This devotion comes out of Turning Points devotional by David Jeremiah. Very interesting uh, devotion there, and especially with this day and age that we're living in now. Um, no matter what side of the political aisle you may be on, I think if your eyes are open, you have to see that the government is slowly but surely taking a little more control all the time. And if you think about, you know, just over the last couple of years with uh, the the mandates and now there are places like in New York and California where you can't even go eat unless you have proof of a vaccine. Uh, there's all kinds of crazy things like that going on, in my opinion, that shouldn't be happening in our uh, free country. So definitely leading down a path, you know, rather, like I said, it doesn't matter if you're on the right or the left, you can still see those things and uh, see that slowly but surely our freedoms are being infringed upon. And uh, as this devotion talks about, um, speaking about um, oppressive governments and whatnot, uh, there is definitely more oppression going on under governments nowadays, in my opinion, than what there was uh, under the guise of the virus. So, just my two cents, uh, and I think that people on both sides of the aisle can see that if they're looking at things objectively, whether they think that they're helping or hurting. Um, you know, whether you think that it's something that needs to be done for health stand from a health standpoint, or uh, whether these regular regulations are stepping over the boundaries, whatever the case may be, uh, I think we can all agree that they're happening and that they are uh, moving in an oppressive direction. So that's my opinion. Uh, you can leave, leave a comment if you disagree or agree, or whatever, uh, or shoot me an email. We can talk about it. My two cents. Anyway, have a great day. And uh, as always, God bless. I'll see you in the morning.